you guys, Rob here at The Last Gaming, and welcome back to Season 2 of Beyond Soul, and of course, this is Episode 10. Yes, I'm still playing this game. I'm really starting to enjoy this one because I'm starting to feel, I don't know, powerful. Like, I don't think we've really felt much for defeat in this one. I think we died once earlier on, but we've done very, very, very well. So I'm really starting to feel like we're going to maybe even finish this one and, you know, win. But I don't know, because... There's been another update. You know, it's been over a month since this game has been released, and they're still adding content. So I got to hand it to the Praxia team. They've done a very good job at, of course, keeping me interested and, of course, everybody else interested by continuing to update and add content. So the content they're adding, uh, they added on November 3rd, is now they've made it so that military stations will now use their fleets offensively in a war. So in other words, if you have ships actually garrisoned in one of the military stations, and there's a switch that you can turn on your fleets will actually go out and attack everything within the operational range of that military station so military stations a military station one has an operational range of one military station operational range of two etc 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 so and if there's like a radar station and an enemy radar station within that range that fleet will automatically go out and fight it now the, of course it won't do it with cities that's the only thing that they won't do is they won't attack a city but they will attack i think other military stations um other mines whatever and then of course you can coordinate that attack with yourself too as well so very exciting update i'm very pleased to see that but now the downside is of course the bad guys can do that to you so you've really got to watch those military stations because they could be uh they could be a serious problem in the game now so let's let's just get to it they, they did some other updates here and there too as well but that's the biggest thing here that uh that i'm gonna try and maybe explore for our city here is maybe adding some garrison to our military station so that they can help us in our war against i think it's bastion I don't even remember who we're fighting here. It's been, it's been a it's been a few days. Uh, Bastille, that's it. Bastille is our arch enemy right now. We're going to absolutely crush them. I have a feeling this particular game we're going to just completely wipe them off the map. All right, so let's get our uh, market sorted out here. Just dump all our extra cargo and maybe upgrade our populations as population centers as well. Because part of the plan today is uh, to add. Let's do the upgrade first, and then maybe we'll sell some extra stuff that's in our hold. Ah, yes, perfect. Okay, ooh, that's nice. We have 44 extra people right now. And let's go to the market and just sell uh, anything that we have. Uh, thorium, of course, we always end up with lots and lots of thorium. We don't need that just lying around. Perfect, and then we've got some extra money, too, to do some of the stuff that I want to do. I'm so stoked. Okay, so one of the things we've been kind of, you know been a little lazy about is putting down extra radar st or putting down the radar stations that uh, you know we've got all this territory but we haven't even put down all of our money making potential because every radar station we put down makes way more money than a radar station upgraded and it costs way more to upgrade our radar stations but we've got all this storage territory that we own that we just haven't placed them down so we're going to do that first and uh, that should produce i mean right now we're making 7020 per minute and uh, if you remember our my goal my original goal was about 10,000 per minute and I'm thinking like we could probably even do better than that and every one of these radar stations is like 200 bucks ah, ah see this is what happens though I end up talking not paying attention and I miss my target there we go radar station done all right so I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna dot all and also um as I'm putting these down of course once we put the, this one down up here, we can actually take this mine too as well, this titanium mine. Titan and then of course the mines pay way more in, in the in the long run because you think about it, you can not only can you sell those minerals, you need those minerals to upgrade your station and stuff, so or upgrade your city, which is very, very important in terms of growing in this game. Every radar station I put down, of course, uses population. And of course, population, um, you need to build those population centers to build those population centers. You need minerals like titanium. I just need minerals like titanium to do everything in this game. So having that extra titanium mine will be absolutely imperative. And I'm not really worried about Bastille as much anymore. I could be, I maybe I'm just delusional, but I think we've got them right where we want them. Or they have us right where, we, where they want us. I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> But I think, I think, I think after, like, I just kind of watched the end of my last video. I think we've pretty much got them conquered because they, they were doing pretty well um, before we got along, came up. And, well, they actually attacked us first, I think. Or did we attack them first? I don't remember. <laughs> Honestly, I can't keep track of my hostility because sometimes I just get crazy hostile and I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I just attack everything. Uh, oh, mining station under attack. Uh, I bet you that's pirates on the mining station I just placed in the asteroid field. That happens. That happens sometimes. Uh, oh, oh, wait, stop. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. Mining station. I'm just clicking on everything that's not going to go here. And might as well upgrade to, 
level two if we can. Yes. All right, let's get a, you know what? I am putting a radar station anywhere I possibly can now. You know what, if I lose them, I, well, I'm not gonna lose that many at this point. I don't think I might, you know, it's when I get faced with two fronts. In other words, when Bastille's been attacking us, they've been uh, using their ally, Guang Feng, to attack us at the same time. So Guang Feng comes in here and, and pummels us down in the south. And of course, I'm not as worried about Guang Feng, so I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, some pirates, whatever. I don't even care, I don't even care. I might as well grab this stuff while we're here. <laughs> rich asteroids. Ooh, very nice. That, they don't look that rich, actually. Uh, five minerals per... That's not rich. That's ah, not rich. Okay, let's go... See, and I can put them all the way down here, too. It's just, just territory we haven't conquered, and it's just been kind of a waste in that sense. I mean, we could be doing so much better. Um, actually, be, uh, how much money do we have on us right now? You know what, we're gonna make a quick stop at this military station. And uh, because, see, this is what I'm talking about. This military station has a range of one. These radar stations, enemy radar stations are actually in range. Um, so if we place uh, ships within this radar station, uh, mounting station was rated, oh. Whoa! We lost 31,000 credits? What? What? Are you kidding me? Which mining station got raided? That cleaned us out. Oh man, okay, so we gotta go do some missions if I'm gonna put, oh man, that sucks. I was gonna buy some ships like right now, but I guess we can't do that because we got raided. I didn't know they could take that much from you. That's insane. Okay, um, all right, so I'm gonna fast forward while I just do some missions and try to make some money here. <laughs> Talk to you guys in a second. Looks like I found a pirate station. <laughs> um, it's right where I want to put a military station, back where, uh, you know, Gwing Feng was attacking us, so let's just take care of that really quickly. <laughs> um, I don't think the pirates really stand a chance. That dreadnought, look at it, just honestly, like butter. Jeez, did you see how fast that was? That was insane. Oh, that's madness. Okay, so. I think we've kind of come back from where we were. We're back up to around the same money. So I guess we gotta watch, you know, the pirates actually, uh, you know, they can actually take quite a bit now from your, from your, okay, so yeah, uh, yeah, they can actually take quite a bit from your coffers now when they attack your stations and stuff. So you gotta watch that once you start get, to get into the late game. So let's put a mining station back here, uh, or not a mining station, a military station. Um, just because I want to exert that dominance in this area too as well to keep Guang Feng from penetrating too deep I said penetration again <laughs> Ah, Sorry, I can't help myself. All right, um, so let's just move up a little bit here and dock and So we can do everything we want with our fleets from any military station or from the base from our home fleet or home base as well So we just need to buy some ships. So let's buy of course a couple chimeras. Oh What do you mean not of credits? Chimera is now 15,000? The price go up? It must have. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess we need to make some more money. So this just puts it into reserve ships. And then from reserve, we can put it into the into the uh, military station. But if we need more than one ship, like, <laughs> we need to make more money. <sighs> okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so let's head back to base, and I, I've made tons of upgrades here. I upgraded the mining stations. I, of course, added all those radar stations. Even upgraded a couple radar stations as well. We're now up. We're now up to eight thousand seven hundred forty-two credits per minute, which is crazy insane. I love it. Oh, we still only have Cross Corporation two. Oh, wow, we're gonna have to upgrade that. Okay, so um, let's sell off any minerals we have, and then we're going to do some adding of ships. <laughs> a lot of ships. All right, so let's uh, sell 
whatever we can. Well, let's move everything over first so we can see what we have. Yeah, we're always short on palladium. We need a palladium source. And wait, does Bastille have a palladium source by chance? No, they have osmium, though. I don't think we have an osmium source. Pretty sure we don't. Let's see. What are we, what are we making right now? We're making everything but osmium and palladium. So, yeah, we definitely need to get into... Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Hold on. What's happening? Where's everybody? Okay, weird. How come I can't see anything? Ah, that's weird. I lost my city there for a second. <laughs> Bizarre. All right, so, yeah, we're full here. We need to get, sell some of this stuff. All right, so let's sell... Oh, lots of thorium. Yeah, we're not... Yeah, we're starting to... The thorium price has gone down substantially. <laughs> uh, sell some iridium. I have a feeling we're going to be going to war soon, so I want to get these ships ready so we can test out this, uh, this new system. I'm pretty excited. Uh, maybe... Uh, can we upgrade population center? Probably. Yes, we can. All right. Ooh, ah, we got to upgrade. A... Awesome. Okay, perfect. So now we've got some more room for growth too, as well. And somebody just declared war on us. So, oh, we gotta buy. We gotta buy ships. Buy another. Uh, we've got enough. Uh, we don't have a lot of money. Let's buy some more of these. Uh, the phantoms. I really like the phantoms. Um, yeah, Medusa. Okay, so that's four ships. It's not a lot, but then we can go to the map and we can go. So they're gonna attack here for sure we can go and move all of these ships over to the military station and then we hit the wartime attacks enabled and then those ships will actually go out and oh wow let's undock and get over there because <laughs> there those ships are actually going to be there before us uh oh there they go <laughs> so they're actually going out and attacking even though Okay, weird. So, rather than staying and defend, they'll actually go out and attack instead. Interesting, interesting choice. As an AI, I don't know, I would I would have preferred that the AI would stay and defend. But at the same time, I'm okay with that because um, they're more likely to lose ships if they... I No, actually, if they would have stayed and defended, they probably would have done really well. Because military station attacks do as well, or defends as well. So, anyway, well, let's, uh, let's teach these guys a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The battles are getting a little more interesting too now that we've got some, you know, bigger ships in the field. We got pirates in here. Why is there pirates attacking? What? Where'd the pirates come from? That's bizarre. That's really weird. Pirates attacking at the same time? Or did they can how did I wonder oh wouldn't that be cool if you can like have pirate conscripts? That would be really amazing. Uh, that's it. Okay, so we've taken care of them. So now, I wonder if they're going to go try and defend their radar station here. So we need to go deal with that quickly. But I can't pass up all these minerals, of course. Um, oh, so we destroyed a radar station. Yeah, we're actually killing the radar stations in range. I love it. What's it going to cost for us to upgrade the station? Because now, I, now there's a reason to have the operational range larger. I just feel like now that makes a difference. I can't pass up this... No, you know what? We're, we're just going straight for, for the city. I'm not going to waste any time with these guys, because they don't waste any time with us. Honestly, they, they hate us a lot, but that's okay. So while our guys from our military station are attacking their radar station, we can go attack their city. That way, when, when we, of course, when we destroy their control center here, we'll have access to this territory as well, because there won't be any more radar stations there. I absolutely love it. Oh, this is great. I really like this, but now, of course, they could do that to us. Oh, Guang Feng is also at war with us. Oh, fantastic. Okay, but they've got lots to chew on down there. Um, I'm not too worried. If we lose a couple things down there, that's fine. I'm going to go straight for the control center because that's, I think, the right thing to do. Do we have any uh, bad guys here? There might be some bad guys here somewhere, but I don't see them right now. <laughs> um, look at the Dreadnought. Dreadnought's just tearing them apart. Look at the bombs. I love it. Oh, that's so cool. I do not accept your surrender offer. Wow, they already asked for a surrender. They're just like, oh, we know what's coming, man. <laughs> well, you guys declared war, so um, I don't remember who said it, but anybody can declare war, but it's uh, you can't just ask for peace whenever you want, right? So that's not an exact quote. I don't remember what the quote was. We've got incoming. Incoming! Yeah, this is going to be... We're probably going to take some... Well, maybe we'll take some casualties. The thing is, we destroyed all of their base defense... Um, the last time around, so they really don't have much other than just ships, and I think because of that, as long as my ships don't get distracted with just trying to destroy uh, 
the city instead of destroying the ships, which they don't seem to be. They're, they're prior, they prioritize pretty well, I think. If they were just trying to attack the city and not defend themselves from the ships, we might be in trouble. But no, the, the, the AI is actually pretty good. See that ship? This ship here actually destroys incoming missiles, so I wanted to get rid of that one pretty quickly. <laughs> There's going to be so many goodies here. I, I think one of the best choices we made was to add the cargo add-on to this, to this battleship. It made it really awesome, although the battleship is still very, very slow. Like, painfully slow. So, you know, just takes a long time. Oh, perfect. Control center's almost down. Awesome. So now, see what that does? That adds all that territory that we can take over. So even if we do have, accept a surrender from them, um, let's go for the population centers. Even if we do accept a surrender from them now, um, we at least get to take over that territory. So I'm starting to learn how to take advantage of the fact that even though sometimes you can't, well, most of the time you can't just destroy an entire city and then have everything be okay. Most of the time to destroy an entire city, you have to accept that everybody's gonna hate you because of course, you know, <laughs> you have, it means you have to keep attacking and if you just keep attacking constantly, um, then everybody will, you know, it's just not good for diplomacy. <laughs> so eventually you have to accept a surrender at some point, usually, like right now, we have to accept a surrender. So, but, the advantage is we still get to take over some territory, but let's collect some of these goodies because, man, we, there's a lot of money. A lot of resources here just lying around. Let's get that control center. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that that was hugely beneficial. Like, we made a ton there. Oh, that was amazing. Uh, we didn't do as much damage as I was hoping, actually. I was hoping to do just a touch more, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh... Yeah, just, you know, I want that alpha strike where we just come in and crush this entire... But I don't, I'm okay with that. Like, but this game is... Good. The games take a long time just because you have to stop eventually. Well, you should stop eventually. <laughs> you don't have to. Um, but if you don't, of course, it leads to trouble. All right, so a couple more here. I just feel like I'm missing some of my... Nothing to salvage. Oh, it's because I can't, I'm not actually targeting on the things I want to target, that's why. Because it's behind stuff. There we go. Perfect. So, yeah, we did enough damage here to, to make me feel good about it, although I wish that we'd been able to destroy a little bit more of their uh, their core structures, like uh, like population centers. So what are they sitting at now? They're at, uh, I don't know, like 29. But we are still at war with Gwang Feng. What am I doing? I'm just messing around here. So Gwang Feng will continue to attack. Let's get... Uh, I don't have to worry about those radar stations right now. Let's just go right through and attack Gwang Fang now. <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, I loves it. Uh, they don't know what's coming. Ah, Gwang Fang, you guys are kind of a thorn in my side because I don't mind being at war with one city, but being at war with two at the same time, especially so far away, is a bit of a pain in the butt. We actually did not take any damage. None of our ships took any damage. Ah, okay, so let's go defend this radar station first. Because that's not within range of this sucker. Now, okay, so... Hmm. You know what we could do? So we could move our fleet that is in this military station back into reserve. And then bring those guys down here. Yes, put that into... Uh, so they will attack if anything's in range. And I wish I had the money to upgrade some of these military stations. Because we could solve this problem pretty quickly. Um, by having ships actually going out and intercepting enemy fleets. I love it. These guys, um, I don't know. I don't remember what kind of ships. Oh, yeah, they got some cruisers. That's great. Cruisers can go down pretty quick, though. <laughs> yeah, they do a lot of damage, but yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. When you've got this kind of firepower with you, like, Dreadnought. Oh, man. Like, they just, look at that. Just crush. <laughs> Awesome. Well, we're here. We'll upgrade that. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastico. Uh, I think there was a ship down here. Yes. Very good. Silencer. Yeah, see, uh, they're, they're using completely different ship styles. Let's go attack their city. I'm not going to mess around with these guys at all. And quite honestly, it's time that we start actually destroying cities again. See, we only brought them down to 99, but we didn't actually destroy their population centers first. Well, I went for their control center first, which probably caused them to sue for peace much faster. I think if we go after their population centers first and kind of hit them around the edges first, I think that's probably the better tactic in order to, if I want to destroy their city, because, you know, we've got to destroy their population center. Oh, they've got, uh, okay. Oh, I see. These guys have some ship station there. Interesting. So that should, 
yeah, I think garrisoning, I think we need to upgrade these military stations. These two would be really, really, really beneficial. These are key points. This one would be really nice. Oh, that is a military station level two. Oh, if I'd have known that, oh, I would have, oh, see, I should have, I didn't realize that was a military station too. Okay, I'm smarter than I thought. <laughs> I actually upgraded that already. All right, so whatever. We'll take care of all that in a second. We've got a city battle to do. I love city battles, it's so much fun. Um, probably not fun for the receiving end of the uh, uh, the guys that are getting hit. Uh, here it comes, guys. Woohoo! Guardian, that needs to go first, of course, because that guy will continue to give people shields, and that's not acceptable. <laughs> Done. Done like dinner. <laughs> Whoops! I, I kind of shot at uh, the uh, the at the husk, the ship that was already destroyed. That's okay. Let's go for the population centers. Let's destroy their ability to continue expanding. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to take care of these turrets for sure. Because that's a problem. And the population centers. Ah, what is it? The pop-up was there. Okay, so let's maybe do some resource gathering while we're doing this so that we don't have to worry about uh, trying to collect all that stuff at the end. I'm not as worried about their control center on this one because I'm not trying to take over their territory. They're kind of out of range for us. I mean, they, we could get in here pretty quickly. A couple radar stations or a military station, we get in, get in here pretty quickly. Um, but I'm not as interested in their territory. It's just a little too far away for us right now for us to be quick at defending it. So, you know, I think for us, right, I think I'd rather just destroy their, their city entirely. <laughs> just completely wipe them out. Uh, no, I refuse your first uh, your first request. See, I think we're doing this properly. Destroy the stuff around the control center first. I think there's a lot of points. You get a lot of points for destroying the from destroying the control center towards finishing before they will actually declare uh, ask for peace. So I think you're better off to destroy all the stuff around the edge first if you're just trying to destroy their city entirely. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to get that done this time, but we're definitely going to hit their population, which will affect whether or not how like they can't expand if you have no population you can't expand so they're gonna have to do some serious work to get all that back and we should be destroying their economic their ability to wage war in other words their the all of the stuff around their city too as well like the radar stations and stuff too but i think this 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 makes them feel bad <laughs> this hurts this definitely hurts this is uh this is going to hurt them in the long run as well as the short run it doesn't, it's not going to stop them because they're allied with uh, Bastille. So I think no matter what, they're going to be joining them in that war whenever they declare war on us. But I tell you, they probably don't want to go to war because they know what's coming. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go, go to war with me if I was in their situation just because you know that eventually that I'm going to turn around on you, right? You know? Yeah. Or, yeah. See, this is not good. <laughs> not good for them at all. This is, this is bad. This is bad for them. Hey, we may actually destroy them entirely here. Is it possible? Wouldn't that be amazing? There goes their, is that their last population center? Wow. We may actually finish them off. Um, that would be pretty crazy and awesome. I know we're close here. Uh, is their control center gone already? Wow, commercial center. Is there anything left? Power station. They're done! We finished them! They're done! Uh, yeah, they made a bad choice. <laughs> Fantastic, their ally, uh, Bastille's ally, destroyed in one foul swoop. That was amazing! Oh my god, that was fun. <laughs> the destruction. Okay, our inventory is full. We, we can't carry all this stuff. But yeah, look at this. We just cleared some space for everybody. You're welcome. You're welcome, uh, uh, who's here? Uh, Demetrius? Uh, might be good for Demetrius. Also gonna be good for Veterani... Veterani Gorod. Now, we could go in and just maybe start a war and destroy them entirely and just take over this territory. Should we do that? What's the status of our fleet? Looking pretty good. Oh, this is a terrible thing to do. Terrible, but, uh, I think it's mm -hmm. I. Let's see, let's go to I here. Where's Veterani? <laughs> should we? I think we should. Um, we're going to declare war, but we're going to attack one of their radar stations first. Because if we attack their main city and have their fleet, whatever that is, I mean, they probably have a bit of a fleet. So let's let's do that. 
Oh, we got past steel reputation for that. Okay, well that's good. All right, let's attack this radar station. <laughs> I am such a warmonger. This is this might be a terrible idea, but I don't know. We can handle a war with two people. We've proven that we can handle a war with two people. And of course, this city, the city that we're attacking, I mean, only has 120 population, so I don't know. I think we'll be okay. So here comes the bad guys. Let's take care of their fleet. There we go. <laughs> I have you now. I am so excited for the Star Wars movies, guys. I don't think I told anybody yet. I don't think I even put it on Facebook, but yeah, we got tickets for the 19th of December, the day after release. I am so stoked. Um, it, it, yeah, so me, the lovely Lisa, and some, some friends and family, a little nephew. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. I'm super stoked. Um, we should, oh man, we should have emptied our, our hole before we went and attacked a whole bunch of people, but you know what? Tactically, I think this is this is the right choice. I think we're making a good choice here. Maybe. Even though we can't carry all the goodies that uh, we're, we can, we're collecting here. But jump. Oh, good. Our little guy is defending. Oh, fantastic. Oh, no. He's attacking. He's attacking the little radar station here. That's great. You do that. You do that thing that you do. And I'm going to go take care of this city. If we can take care of cities in one swoop. Oh, we're already at 70%. I don't know if we'll be able to pull it off this time. But we can try. Uh, let's go for this shield generator first. Uh, maybe we'll take care of the bad guys first. Probably, probably a good idea. Ah, they still have lots of ships. Ooh, this may be... This may be bad. We'll see. Ooh, nice hit. <laughs> Very nice. I still want to collect stuff, but I can't. Forget it. Um, I refuse your surrender. Um, but I am definitely going to attack your city. Uh, they've got a couple turrets here, so we'll take care of those. You know, even if we don't get them this time, next time for sure. Take care of some of those defenses now, and then later it'll just be a cakewalk. We'll just come in, destroy the population centers first. That's the key, guys! Destroy that stuff around the edges of the control center first. Um, if you try to, if you go for the control center first, they will ask for peace too quickly, and then you won't have the time be able to destroy their city in, in sort of a... In, oh, we're losing a lot of ships. Man, we're losing, we lost a lot of ships on this one. Well, not a lot. I mean, if you consider how much damage we've done... Whoops, I keep attacking. <laughs> Let's go for the population. Oh, go for the shield generator, actually. Take care of that. I was attacking stuff that's already destroyed. <laughs> Talking instead of paying attention. Once again, one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> you know, when I play stuff alone, I do so much better. But I don't know. I like to chat with you guys. It's so much fun. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're, we're not doing as much damage as I was hoping. They're probably going to ask for peace pretty quickly here. But I got to say that we have done substantially better than I thought we would. And I didn't really think... You know, this is such an impulse decision, but I think it's a good decision. Because it's just so much territory available, like, around the edges right now. So, so this is this is actually a good choice. Good choice for us. And we don't want, we don't want Veteran to go and take over all that territory that we just opened up, right? And this will limit them, like, it'll slow them down. And yes, it'll make them mad at us, but, you know, they can go ahead and be mad at us. I mean, they'll probably even declare war, but it's not going to do any good for them. <laughs> We're at 210,000 money, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, we can't collect all this stuff. We could go unload and then maybe come back if we do it quickly enough, but I'm not that worried about it. Um, I'm more interested in just taking over territory. I think territory is key here. Um, you know, if we can take over the territory... Wow, we're actually going to destroy the control center? Uh, I accept your surrender. Wow, did we ever do a number on him? Let's get out of here. Let's go unload. Crazy. Unload, repair the fleet. Um, of course, add some ships. And we still got our entire fleet uh, at our military station as well. That was... We brought them down to 36 population. That was crazy! Uh, they pretty much can't expand because with only 36 population, there's no way that they're adding any more radar stations, at least for a while. Bastille... Bastille's gonna go down next time. I think we're doing pretty well. I don't know. That's my opinion. Uh... Better than I thought I would do today. <laughs> but we need to go We need to go spend some money on ships and stuff, of course. We still have our Dreadnought. Dreadnought took no damage at all. We still have our Guardian? Did we have a Guardian? I don't think we... 
I, we may or may not have had a guardian. Um, I think we'll go get another guardian because I like that ship. The one that gives you shields, I really like it. Maybe we have enough money to even upgrade it too. <laughs> and upgrade the phantoms. Ah, let's do that too as well. So before we buy more, we'll upgrade. Uh, the chimeras are maxed out, so but they're expensive. They're like 15,000, but that's okay. That's fine. It's worth it. So docky dock. And we can buy some extra ships just to keep in reserve, which is fantastic. All right, so let's go repair ships first. Oh, let's go to our market, sell any excess stuff because we have a lot of stuff right now. Oh, lots of thorium, always lots of thorium. And of course we're getting lots of titanium in now. Yeah, we were sitting at max air for a while. So not very efficient in terms of our mineral management, but you know, but it is what it is. Um, just because we were busy, I was busy attacking uh, civilizations and knocking them back into the stone age. All right, so let's go to fleet and let's upgrade some ships. Uh, the Cryos, I want to upgrade the Phantoms because I love the Phantoms. They're so fast and nice. And the Guardians. Who has the Guardians? There they are. Upgrade the Guardians as well. And uh, let's buy a Guardian. Let's buy a Chimera. How much room do we have? We've got uh, 30. Okay, so we're maxed out. We should think about upgrading our hangers too as well upgrade might as well you know i mean ooh, actually oh we should have upgraded our control center oh man we need like three hundred thousand for that so we should really hold out and wait and wait yeah we've got to upgrade our power too as well here before we go upgrade yes Ah, uh, population now too. Oh man, this gets expensive. Really, really crazy. Um, do we have enough room to add another ship now that we upgraded? Ah, uh, maybe. Uh, thing is, upgrading hangers, you only get like two. Like, you don't get very much at all. Okay, so that should give us enough to add another ship. Um, let's, uh, Medusa? I don't know. The Medusas were okay. I don't know, it didn't, didn't fit my play style as well. Um, I do like the Chimeras. The Chimeras are definitely one of my favorites. So let's add another Chimera. So yeah, that adds another whole ship to the fleet. <gasps> totally stoked! Oh, that's wicked cool. Maybe we can get back in time to take some of the juicy bits. Probably not. It's probably all gone now. Oh man, that was so good. That was so good. I'm actually going to go go do some missions here now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to call this an episode. But I'm going to do a couple missions at the end here. And uh, yeah. And then next time I'll see you guys and we'll have some more money and we'll be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.